Good afternoon, and welcome to our exploration update. As you can see on this slide, our projects are all located in the Americas, and our exploration is performed on properties that host either a mine, a development, or an advanced stage project. All our properties offer significant upside potential, but the current focus and projects to be presented here are Black Fox and Gold Bar. When it comes to exploration potential, the property itself and also the regional setting are key elements for the assessment of prospectivity. The ABCB regions where Black Fox is located is usually endome with over 200 million ounces of gold. Most of this gold occur in the southern part of the region along two regional deformation zones, often called the breaks, as shown by the dashed lines on, on the map here. Our Black Fox project and stock properties cover a cumulative 13 kilometer strike lane along the Bestor Porcupine, shown by the red dash line, offers significant upside potential, and we are advancing with a $15 million exploration budget to assess the full potential of both properties. The Black Fox project, shown here on this slide, is well mineralized. It owes the Black Fox mine, as well as deposits located along different mineralized structures, including Gray Fox with three zones in the southeast property area, Froome to the west, and Tamarack to the east of the mine. In addition to the high gold endowment, we consider the geological and structural setting, the presence of multiple mineralized styles and host rocks, combined with relatively underexplored region, key ingredients that make Black Fox a prospective exploration project and the right place for exploration investment. Moving now to the Black Fox mine, we are looking at different ways to extend the two years reserve mine life. The first approach is to convert a portion of the existing resource category ounces to mineable reserve. And our ongoing underground drilling program is dedicated to this goal. The blue color represent, on the slide represents the resource and the, and the red color blocks represent the reserve as shown on this long section of the mine. In addition, we are following up on high grade drill intersection at the far west target on the left in red and the depth extension of the mine where the three holes drilled so far have all intersected high grade mineralization. Those intersections are shown in red text here on the slides and include 7.24 over 3.89 meter and 21.6 gram per ton over 0.8 meter. Our underground drilling is also generating quite exciting results. Like this recent intersection of 27.8 gram per ton gold over 6.12 meter from the central zone area. Follow-up drilling is ongoing to better assess this excellent new result. You can see it in the middle of the slide there. The second approach to extend the mine life is to look at existing nearby deposits that can potentially contribute to future production. To the west, the Froome deposit owes 159,000 ounces at 5.3 gram per ton gold. To the east, Tamarack owes 127 1,000 ounces gold equivalent at a grade of 5.1 gram per ton gold equivalent from both base metal and gold mineralization. We'll have a press release out on Tamarack later today, if not already done, and describing the, the mineralization we have there. Finally, we are advancing with a comprehensive surface exploration program to assess the potential of the property, and I'm going to highlight some of the results that are being generated. Part of our exploration approach has been to initially focus on prospective zone of mineralization that may have been overlooked in the past. 
Tamarack and Stock East are examples of those targets, and we are pleased to be shifting both of them to resource estimation stage. Now for Tamarack, and in the short term for Stock East. Tamarack, located just east of Black Fox, is interpreted as a late mineralized event that owes gold and associated zinc, lead, silver, rich, massive sulfide mineralization. Tamarack style deposits represent a new type of mineralization that we are adding to our target list. We are currently testing targets over different sectors of the property and our exploration drilling southwest of Gibson Gray Fox area intersected a new structure hosting visible gold, which returned a spectacular intersection of 639 gram per ton gold over 0.7 meter. We are following up on this early stage, but clearly encouraging new high grade intersection. You can see a photo here of this mineralization with abundant visible gold, and the drill core is available in the back of the room. Over the Gray Fox area, our drilling have generated multiple positive drill intersections. They confirm existing mineralization and also support the potential to extend known deposit and associated cross structure. Selective drill highlights, as shown here, include 5.4 gram per ton gold over 14.7 meter, 46.3 gram per ton gold over a meter, and 16.1 gram per ton over three meter. At Froom, our drilling is focused on the extension of the main deposit and over a nearby target to the north and northwest with the objective to confirm additional mineralization that may contribute to an increase of the existing resource. Encouraging visual mineralization have been observed in the core and positive results are being generated at the Froome Northwest target, where all 243 return an intersection of 8.61 gram per ton gold over seven meter, including a 52.7 gram per ton over a meter and a separate lower grade intersection of 1.8 gram per ton over 22.8 meter. We are clearly encouraged by those results and drilling continue over this target area. In addition to the target highlighted just now, our exploration program is also focused on drilling of multiple other targets. The Black Fox Northwest extension to the northwest of the mine in the Gibson Killery structure, which owes the Froome deposit, represent example of priority target areas that are being drill tested. Moving now to stock property, which covers 6.5 kilometer of the Destor Porcupine Fault, and owes the stock mill and the former underground stock mine with past production of 137,000 ounces Goal at 5.5 gram per ton. Our recent drilling have been focused on Stock East, a target that has been dormant with no drilling for about 20 years. We are quite happy with our drill program so far. The positive results combined with the geological attributes suggest the presence of a high quality mineralized zone proximal to our mill. I'm now showing you a vertical long section through the stock target zone. We have drilled 20 holes so far this year and have also resampled 20 historical drill intersections. The, the drill results shown in red font with colored dots are from our 2018 drill program. And the one in black font with gray dots are from historical drill holes. The red shaded area represents a sector mineralized with more than 10 gram per ton gold meter. For those not familiar with this term, gram per ton gold meter represents the gold grade in gram per ton multiplied by the thickness in meter of a drill intersection. The zone extends over 500 meter strike land and from near surface down to a depth of about 400 meter. And the width of the zone average around five to 15 meter. The grade is variable. The structure always hosts low-grade gold mineralization and also includes 
a relatively high amount of narrow high grid interval that often con contain visible gold. The results are underlined here on the slides, the high grid results. A dual intersection from all of pen, circle in yellow here, which returned 4.8 gram per ton gold over 16 meter, including a two meter at 26 gram per ton, is on display in the back of the room. On this slide, you can better visualize the short distance, about 700 meters, that separates the stock east zone from the stock mine and mill area. The plunge of the mineralization toward the west can be unfair, and extensions at that and along strike are considered highly prospective at both zones. Further in field and stepped out drilling is planned at stock east over the coming months and we will be advancing with the first resource estimation in the second half of the year. A similar drilling approach will also be applied to the old stock mine, and we will also execute the first pass drill testing over surrounding geophysical target. The stock and Black Fox exploration program are going to be exciting, and I encourage you to stay tuned for more exploration news. Turning now to Nevada, a huge gold endowment also occurs along regional gold bearing structure called Trans. Our Tonkin Gold Bar properties covered about 30 kilometer strike land of prospective ground along the Cortez Trend and is located just to the southeast of a 50 million ounces gold cluster composed of barrack pipeline, Cortez, and Gold Rush deposit. You can see on this slide the Cortez trend, highlighted in yellow, and our Tonkin gold bar properties with the red stars. Zooming now to the gold bar area, one of the main control of the mineralization occurs along a 12 kilometer northwest southeast trending structure that holds the gold bar deposit in three pits. You can see here on the slide. The gold bar south resource as well as mineralized drill intersection, gold showing, and salt geochemical anomalies. Our exploration is currently concentrated in this high priority area with a resource expansion drill program and the definition of surrounding drill targets. The resource expansion and delineation program have, has generated multiple positive drill intersections around our pit as shown by the gram meter color dots and the drill composite highlighted in, in red text here. This program will be completed by the end of this month, and a near pit resource update is planned for Q3. The near pit incremental answers addition together with the ex existing gold bar salt oxide resource are expected to extend the project life of mine of our future gold bar operation beyond the current seven years mine life. Another interesting point in, is that the past exploration at Gold Bar has focused on defining oxide mineralization. However, we have evidence that high-grade sulfide gold mineralization also exists on the property. The core photo shown here from Cabin Creek is a very good example of this mineralization. Both the oxide and sulfide potential are contributing to generate new exploration target at Gold Bar for drill testing in the second half of 2018. As presented just now, we are advancing with focus exploration on high quality projects located along regional structure that owes hundreds of million ounces of gold. Our 2018 plan key results include the productions of an initial resource at Tamarack and Stock East at our Black Fox complex, and a resource estimation update in Q3 at Gold Bar. Extending mine life at our operation and making new discoveries remain top priorities. And our exploration teams are dedicated to delivering on, on those, these goals. We are pleased with the progress and results generated so far at Black Fox. Using 2018 surface all completed so far with all assay results received, 60% of the holes return plus 10 gold meter and about eight 39% plus 20 gold meter and 28% 30 gold meter. 
looking at grid now, 50% of the whole have cut 5 gram per ton up. 33% plus 10 gram per ton and 23% plus 20 gram per ton. These statistics don't guarantee a major new discovery, but they give us confidence that we are moving in the right direction and the future looks quite promising. 